Hello everybody, I hope that you are well. I've got on my bath head towel thing because today I'm gonna to be taking you on a deep dive through my toiletries bag and show you how I take care of my skincare routine whilst I'm traveling, but also my hair removal method as well. So we're gonna start off with hair removal because I would say that 90% of the time that I'm traveling, I'm in a tropical destination and I'm in my swimwear a lot. And personally, I do not like to keep hair on the bottom of my legs, my armpits, or my bikini line. So I've been shaving for years and it's a great temporary, temporary <laughs> hair removal method. However, especially quite recently, I've been experiencing more and more irritated skin and ingrown hairs, especially on my bikini line. I considered the idea of laser hair removal done professionally earlier this year. However, it's very expensive. I've heard it's very painful, but also it requires you to actually go and see a professional, which throughout my time in England in 2020, I wasn't even able to do that. So I was very intrigued and excited when I discovered Kenzie, which is an at-home IPL laser hair removal device, handset. And this video is kindly sponsored by Kenzie, but I didn't wanna make this video until I actually started seeing results. To explain a little bit, IPL means intense pulsed light. It works by converting light energy into heat, which targets the melanin in your hair. I have been using this device once a week and to really test the results, I've been only shaving once a week. Now, normally after shaving, my hair has come back pretty prominently, literally just after one day. So at first I was just dealing with prickly legs for six days of the week, and then the day that I shaved, David would always be like, Oh, it's so smooth, have you just shaved? The results for me, I think, have been very gradual, but after six weeks, I am very stoked to say that my hairs have been growing back much slower than before, and it's only gonna get more intense than this, to the point where David asked me if I had just shaved four days after I'd actually shaved, which was a revelation to me. The recommendation from Kenzie is to use the device weekly for 12 weeks, and by then there should be virtually no hair growth. And from then on you use it just once a month just to keep up the results. For me, who's someone who is in swimwear, but also on camera the majority of the time, this really is a game changer for me in terms of my hair removal, because no longer am I gonna be, have to be dealing with ingrown hairs or cuts from shaving, and to be honest, it's just one less thing to worry about when it comes to body confidence, which I think is something you can't even put a price on. This is what it looks like close up. It's super simple to use. There are five intensity levels, and now I'm using level five to get maximum results. After you've shaved, for the hair that you want to remove, you literally just cover the entire piece of skin with the bottom of the handset and press the button. And some areas are more pain-free than others, I should say. So some areas, like, I really don't feel much at all. It's just like this kind of warm tingle. I'll show you the bit which I normally find more painful. It's like the top back of my leg. even then it's like totally manageable. That was something that I was quite concerned about beforehand because I hate being in pain. So I'm gonna go over all my areas with this now and come back to you. It can be used for your underarms, legs, arms, chin, Brazilian, even your upper lip if you want to. And apparently IPL also reduces sunspots, pigmentation, blemishes, and wrinkles. So if you would like a hair-free 2021 like me, I have a discount code for you where you can get $50 off by using the link in the description or by using my code BANANA50. So after I have used the Kenzie, I will go ahead and put on moisturizer. This is something that I always buy when I have arrived in the country that I'm in because I put it all over my body, which means I go through a lot of it. So I want a big bottle and that's just not gonna fit in my hand luggage. And you can purchase body moisturizer pretty much anywhere in the world for a very reasonable price. So at the moment I'm using the Nivea Express Hydration 48 hours, which I actually really, really like. I've never used this particular one before, but it leaves my skin feeling so soft and silky and smooth. Moving on to facial skincare. My skincare routine has improved a lot over the past few years. If you have watched some of my old packing videos, you may have noticed that I pretty much just 
didn't have any kind of skincare routine or use any products at all. I'm super lucky to have quite naturally clear skin, but I'm absolutely not exempt from dry skin, uh, sun damage, wrinkles and the older that I get the more important I feel it is to really look after my skin I mean I should have been doing this all along but I didn't so it's better late than never that being said I still only travel hand luggage only so finding and using products is quite specific when I wake up in the morning the very first thing that I do is wash my face with a light exfoliating facial wash at the moment I'm using this one from Neutrogena but this does not fit in my hand luggage luckily I go through this fairly quickly so it is one of the products that I just purchased once I am in a destination and that does work for me because you can find these kind of things in any supermarket anywhere in the world. So after I generally cover my entire wet face with it, I massage it in with my electronic face cleanser. When you turn it on, it goes for two minutes, but every 20 seconds it stops for just a couple of milliseconds just to remind you to move to another area of your face so you can target six different areas of your face. This device has been my skincare game changer of 2020. This combo makes my skin feel so soft, it's ridiculous. I went through a period early on in 2020 when my skin just felt so rough and not very nice and I have not had that problem whatsoever since I've started using this. In fact, my skin has literally never ever felt softer. In fact, if any of you um, have tried Benefits Professional and how that feels, like you know how that feels when you put it on your skin, like your skin is just so silky smooth and soft. That is how my skin feels with no product on whatsoever after using this every single morning. It's yeah, it's revolutionary. And I feel like I owe all of that to this electronic face cleanser, honestly. And I bought it off Amazon, so I will link it down below. After I finish with that, I either pat my face dry or just let it air dry, depending on if I have a clean face towel handy, because in hostels, well, that's unlikely. And then it's time to moisturize. I've been using this simple hydrating light moisturizer for about a year now, and I love it because it's light on my face and the packaging really is just perfect for travel. It's less than 100 milliliters, so I can take it in my hand luggage. It gets smaller every single time that I use it. I'm also really able to squeeze out every last drop of this thing, and it lasts ages. I left the UK like three and a half months ago now. It's still going strong. I'd say I have at least another month and a half in this, maybe even another two months. And then after moisturizer, I use a vitamin C serum. This one is the Radiant Serum by Revolution. Not only does it give me the dewy glow I've always desired, but vitamin C has so many benefits for your skin. It reduces wrinkles, produces collagen, evens out your skin tone. It acts like an armor on your face against pollution, as well as many other benefits, which I'm sure a skincare professional can tell you a lot more and better than I can. I've actually been recommended to use a higher percentage of vitamin C, up to 20%. At the moment, I'm using this one, which is just 3%, but I think when I finish this bottle, I'll definitely invest into a higher percentage vitamin C cream. But I just love this stuff. Aside from all the other benefits, the dewy glow alone that this gives me is enough to warrant it a space in my backpack. And finally, in the mornings, I finish off my morning skincare routine with an SPF, of course, to protect my face from the sun. Even if it's not sunny outside, I've learned that it's so important that we still should be using SPF on our face every single day. I chose this Centella Green Level and Scented Sun Cream by Purito just before coming out to Mexico, which is SPF 50. And I really like it because it feels super light, not like you're wearing sun cream at all. You hardly need any to cover your face, so it lasts a long time and also just helps add to the dewy look that I'm going for. Now, literally in the past month, there's been quite a lot of control controversy surrounding this specific product and if it really does deliver the 50 SPF that it claims. And I mean, I haven't got burnt with it a single day here, but I'm not so sure I can necessarily recommend you this product anymore because of the claims about it. But despite that, a daily SPF is still a must. Once I've made my way through this bottle, I'm going to try out a few different ones and I will of course tell you of my findings when that happens. But that's it for my face and then I'm good to go with my day. I've been pretty religious with this routine since I started doing it and it makes my face feel great every day. Now in the evenings, my skincare routine is 
less strict. I guess it kind of depends on what I've done that day, but mostly just how I feel. I will always rinse my face and give it a quick grub with a facial cleanser. This again is something that I will always just buy once I arrive in the country because you can buy it in any supermarket anywhere in the world. So at the moment I am using the Nivea Micellaire to be a respirar con agua de rosas. If my face feels particularly dirty or if I'm removing makeup, I'll use my electronic face cleanser once again. But most nights I don't feel the need to do this and to be honest, most of the time just can't be bothered. Another new addition to my skincare routine this year is that I've been using a retinol cream, which has benefits such as reducing wrinkles and supporting the skin's elasticity. Again, a skincare expert can give you more details on that, but I believe the experts. And so at the moment, I am using the Nip and Fab Renew Retinol Fix Overnight Cream. It's an intensive night treatment, so you're not supposed to put it on every night. It's just suggested to be put on uh, three times a week. I'm normally quite lazy and I'll just do two times a week, but my skin feels great when I do it. I can't say I'm able to tell if this in particular has made any like major changes to my face, but my skin definitely isn't worse, so I guess it's doing a good job. And finally for skincare, if we can call this skincare, I have to talk to you about my Garnier Ombre Solaire Natural Bronzer Self Tan Mist for your face. I've been talking about this product on my channel for absolutely years. It's basically just a spray that makes your face more tanned. You spray it on your face for about three seconds and then it takes a few hours for the tan to appear, but then it lasts for a few days. I naturally have a very, very pale face and this just brings a little bit of color and warmth into my face, which honestly makes me feel so much more confident when not wearing makeup and it just makes me feel better about myself and I actually think it evens out your skin tone as well which obviously as a backpacker who rarely wears makeup that's an absolute huge bonus for me. I put this on normally in the evenings so it has the time to develop overnight and I'll just put it on when I feel like I need it so normally that's once or twice a week but I love this stuff I really do I've recommended it to so many family and friends who also swear by it now so um, yeah I have to tell you about it. And that's it for all the products that I use on my skin while traveling and they all fit into this lovely little small clear toiletries bag as well as a few other random bits and bobs in there as well and this thing comes with me literally everywhere. The bigger bottles that I purchase once I arrive in a destination tend to live in the outside water pockets of my backpack so they don't take up any more room inside my backpack either. Thank you again to Kenzie for sponsoring this video. Remember you can get $50 off when you click the link in the description or use my code banana of 50. That's if you want a painless, effective, long-lasting way of removing your hair this year. I've been wanting a hair-free life like this for a very long time now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!